live in Decula, Georgia, and you're watching Twin Sports TV. And it's a live, uncut, unscripted segment where the cameras roll. Let like anything, anything go. We're here for the Legend Sports Group. It's the uh, Speed and Agility Camp. Oh, and we yeah. getting it in with, with a whole lot of football. Hey, we snagged somebody special. We got We're going to talk to him for a second. Yeah. Hey. Can you tell our viewers your name? Roman Harper's my name. And let me tell you something. That was <laughs> impressive. That's the best hey. intro to an interview I've ever been a part of. Hey, hey. I love it. That. That's Twin Sports TV. Hey. Awesome. Uh, all right, so you're here today to speak to the kids at the um, the Legends Camp. What kind of information and advice you was giving? Them? Well, really, just you know, first and foremost, you got to get your grades because you can't. If you don't get your grades, you can't go to college. And if you have aspirations to do anything bigger in high school, you got to get that part of it first. Not only that, but listen to your adults, uh, the competition for, uh, aspect of it, and also sportsmanship. Uh, understanding that a lot of these kids out here, they go to rival high schools. They're friends with each other, and these friends that you make now and the relationships that you have now will last you a lifetime if you take care of them the right way. Hey, right, I love right. it. Can you give our viewers a little bit um, of your background so yeah, they know? So, uh, they, you know, I'm going to tell them here in Atlanta, they might not like it, but, you know, I'm first and foremost, I'm from Alabama, Roll Tide. Oh, Went to hey, University of Alabama, saw them Georgia Bulldogs. They can be mad. <laughs> and then on top of that, I got drafted by the New Orleans Saints. I hey. played for them. Uh, for nine years, and uh, Carolina Panthers for another two. So 11 total, won a Super Bowl, 44 with the New Orleans Saints after we beat Atlanta a couple of times. Hey. <laughs> and then and the Carolina Panthers as well in 2015. We lost to Denver, but we beat Atlanta a couple of times that year too. That's oh, right. he, he's yeah, just Atlanta, laying They beat us when we were undefeated, so I give him a little credit. Right, right. They they get a little credit. Little. So how important is it for you to come back and give to the community? Well, it's huge, uh, especially me. I'm not even from this area, but, you know, my brother lives in Atlanta, and anytime I can be involved with the youth or giving back, I, I just feel like it means so much. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to a couple of football camps when I was this age, and it really just changed my outlook on the things that I could achieve. And sometimes just hearing another voice say, hey, you're good at this, or you have the talent to do something, right. or go be bigger, because you don't really understand the power of the mind. And uh, that's all I want to do is just try to spread that word to others that really have the ability and God-gifted talent to go and do some great things, because we need it as a community. We hey, do. I, I love, love it. it. Well said. Now, Thank look, you. our slogan on Twin Sports TV is get your game up. What do you do to stay on top of your game? Man, uh, I get my game up by being a good home. home. I stay at home most of the time, and then I work out. I still do some sports radio and TV, so that's what I kind of mostly keep my mind around. And I like to golf when I got when I got some spare time. All right. I'm terrible, though. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. <laughs> all right. <laughs> keep working. Keep working. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look, one last question. You know, with all the distractions and temptation that young people have to go yes. through, this game, how important are youth sports to community? I, I think it's huge. I think it gives uh, aspects of team, uh, team uh, you know, uh, being around other people. And not only that, but actually being able to have a conversation. I think so often now we just look at phones, and that's how everybody communicates. Guys don't know how to talk to girls. Girls don't know how to talk to other girls or guys. And, you know, and guys, we barely know how to treat each other right too so it, it it's that aspect of it that the real human into you know relationships that, that we need to build more of and understand the inside of every community and it takes uh, it really does take a village to raise a child so all that being said you, you got to just look after one each other know that we have to love one another we want to be supportive and that's what we we're out here doing today it was a lot of support uh and it was free camp and we just bring as many people out as we can and just we just want to love on as many kids and just give them a little a great outlook on life I, I love, love it. it. We oh. do want to love on these kids. <laughs> All right. Can you look in the camera and tell everybody, say, get your game up. Get your game up. Woo! We it. right in your face. We talking about bowl with it. Hey, let your sports group be.